Welcome back guys, welcome back dudes, dudes. We're back here today, and why? Because we've got a fantastic unboxing, something I've waited for for a long, long time. Uh, yes, okay, let's talk a bit about, I've got my worldwide uh, long sleeve tee on. You'll notice that on the thumbnail. When you see this guys, you'll know that this is a worldwide first. So I'm the first person in the world to unbox this thing on YouTube. Um, whatever it is, if I'm wearing this, this long sleeve tee, you know it's a first. Okay, let's talk about today. We've got the most amazing uh, cutting edge stuff coming out of China now. And I've been doing this stuff for two and a half years. I was the first guy to sort of do the, the boards from China before anybody. So I've been doing this stuff longer than anyone and I know that, that industry and that part of the world pretty well. Yes, belt drive. Um, as you know, I'm a big advocate for hub drives. I love the simplicity, the low maintenance, the silent motors, the more waterproofing aspects of a hub motor. I got an Evolve, you saw the last video, the Evolve One Limited. I am falling in love with these, these belt drives. Um, it is kind of a feeling of being pulled. If you, if you blindfold yourself and you ride a board, um, I think you can feel the difference through the kinetic feel of your body that you're being uh, pushed by a magnet rotated uh, motor or you are being pulled by a torque belt belt feel and I must say I'm really loving that belt uh, drive uh, pulley system it's, it's it's got a really nice feel uh, so I am sort of swaying a bit more to, to loving belts so what have we got today well we've got a belt drive coming out of China and what is the company it's Vesta board Vestar board or V Star board, I think it's Vestar board. Um, it's going to be the, I think it could be finally the uh, the booster board crusher. Um, this could crush booster board by half the price, maybe even a third. Um, we have two 900 watt motors. Uh, uh, they're going to be du obviously dual motors. Uh, we got a really nice clearance on these, a lot more than the one finger thickness of a booster board. Um, let's unbox it. Before we do, let's talk a little bit about the company. A uh, big shout out to Frank. Uh, Frank is f from fame, from uh, from Timo, board fame, who started the company with Timo, has left and gone across to uh, form Vestar board. I think because he wanted to move into belt direction territory and possibly that was conflicting his uh, creative um, you know, ability. So that's where this has come from. It's a new company, very efficient. All the dealings I've had with uh, Frank have been first class, extremely professional, uh, perfect um, uh, timing, English, everything. The whole uh, customer service uh, experience is just premium um, and I would expect the product to be the same. I've only seen it online and uh, we'll unbox it and then we'll go in and have a look at the, uh, the website and talk about the different options you can get. Now today there is a very, very, very exciting discount and I'll come back after I've ridden it. I want to make sure it performs well and it feels good before I, I talk more about the discount and what they're offering my subscribers uh, on YouTube today and up to the 24th of December. So if you've been hanging out for a Chinese board, hanging out for a bit more power, a bit more grunt, and you wanna, uh, the belt drive is more forgiving on all surfaces because the, the four urethanes are all moving together with their squeegee urethane, uh, typical classic skateboard um, effect with the belt being suspended, the motors inside the board, outside, um, you know, that aspect of the Evolve style, which is outside, you got them inside. Anyway, we'll go to that in a second. But the point is, uh, maybe the time to get in now yes. into the market for one of these boards, because I think this will, will really fit a good category. It'll fit a good area that hasn't been done yet. Now, belt drives are coming thick and fast. Why? Because the Chinese vendors are realizing that we are moving into hub terrain, uh, but we're also moving into all terrain. So I think with the night rides, the day rides, the group rides people are riding, which are friggin' excellent. Um, great idea, by the way. Just be careful how many you get in a group because I'm scared that there's going to be some kind of explosion of um, legislation that's going to sort of limit these kind of big group rides, but that's something I'll talk about later. Yes, I think they're realizing we've got to move into all terrain, so how do you propel all terrains, you ain't going to do it with a hub motor. There's no way. Uh, otherwise, you know, Inertia would have done a hub motor all terrain with their massive uh, hub motors. 
So you've got to go belts for the gearing and for that kind of uh, propel and, you know, that inertia and pull. Uh, so I think that's a natural progression and what's going to happen in the, uh, the evolution of this particular, you know, Chinese market. So this is the first and I think it's pretty much one of the first, um, yeah, I know what you're saying, just unbox the thing. Okay, we're going to do it now. Um, we are moving into belt drive territories. This is a first. Okay, so um, this boxing, by the way, is not that great. Uh, Frank said it's just to get to me quickly to review. Um, the professional boxing will be a lot more elaborate. Uh, and. Uh, I think it'll it'll be a lot more of a better boxing experience, but for now, uh, this is getting to me quick and fast, so we can review it. Now, um, right, let's have a look at it. Now, there's two models. Okay, there's the V1 and there's the V2. Let me look at what's in the box, but I'll just show you quickly inside, and uh, let's get the thing out and have a good look at it, and we'll check out what you've got to offer for your normal price of six ninety nine. However, there'll be a big discount, as I said before, and that'll come up later in the video, and stay tuned for that. Let's go above and have a look at it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's open up. Um, now, there we go. Like I said, this is going to be a lot more elaborate when you get your own board, but for now, this was just uh, uh, the early phase of getting these out, so these boxes aren't too elaborate. Okay, uh, take these off here. Uh, this is all... Okay, so let's uh, take the um, uh, the companies who are now starting to push these belt drops. You can see it's a nice deck. Uh, wow. Start functionality. We've got the Hobby Wing remote setup or battery options. Uh, um, tool. Uh, he set up a whole. Uh, very, so don't worry about that. You have to forget or you had a few drinks one night. The star. Uh, wait to check this out. Okay, let's um, website. Right, okay, here she is. Okay, guys, that's pretty wide. Um, this is the V2, as you can see, it's quite wide. Um, and it's also, uh, it's quite a solid deck. So if you're a bigger, heavier guy, uh, possibly the 90 millimeter wheels, and the V2 will be the go for you. Um, if you're wanting the booster style shape and you're probably a lighter, you want a bit more flex, go for the V1. Uh, that's the, exactly the same mechanism and motors. Okay, batteries. There are a choice of only one battery on the V1 and that is the uh, Samsung 6.0 um, amp hour. With this particular board, because of the real estate and the size of it, you are able to do a second battery option, which is the uh, uh, the Panasonic um, 9.6 amp hour, and that's a big battery. You can see that there is the six, uh, and the, the obviously the obviously the case will be a bit bigger for the the Panasonic. Now, okay, so let's talk about uh, the deck. It's uh, obviously a Canadian maple uh, nine ply. Um, it's got the vest uh, Vesta, which is obviously short for Vesta board, uh, engraved on the bottom. Uh, the casing uh, is plastic, but it's a really heavy duty plastic. Uh, I mean, the booster boards are double casing and they're extremely strong. You could drive a truck over them. These look like they're made of the same DuPont nylon plastic. Um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's plastic. Um, uh, it's, it's got an auto turn on functionality. Nice gel rises that'll, that's all added bonus. You've got two on each end. Um, these motors are 900 watts uh, and they're pretty high KV rating. Now I haven't ridden it yet, I'm dying to ride this board and when I get it out I'll be able to tell you straight away whether this has the torque and the bite of close to a boosted. It's going to go close. The booster motors are about the same size. Um, I'm really liking the premium feel of this thing. It's just got a beautiful feel, beautiful quality. First time a proper foam that fills it everywhere. Uh, this is just, it's just beautifully made. Um, 6.9 kilograms, I think it is. Maybe I think it's a bit, bit heavier maybe because of the motors. But let's go through some of the specs and uh, we'll have a look at it now and we'll talk a bit about the price again and what you have to do and the code. So we'll be back in a moment, have a look at this.
as you can see, it's 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 pretty impressive. Um, I'm loving this thing. I like the whole feel, the the, the, the refinement of it, the the, the finish. Uh, it's gone even down to the 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 cabling um, coverings. To the, it's so uh, synonymous of the top range boards out there, like the Evolves and the uh, Booster. This is really nice. So uh, the motors. Okay, let's talk about the motors. Um, the motors are 900 watts. Uh, the KV rating is 190 on these. They're very powerful. Is the I'm going for the I think the 90 is a better wheel. Uh, 90 millimeter rub. You can get an 83. Um, this is uh, yeah. This is this is not like not, I haven't seen this before. This is really high tech. So this is another level um, where you got the alloy casing all frosted, uh, like it's been you know sandblasted or um, coated. Uh, they've got the air vents on the motors on one side there. Uh, they feel like really good magnets. Um, yeah, so you're looking at 900 watts per motor, which is a combination of 1800 watts. This is going to give some punch. Top speed, we're looking at 40 kilometers per hour, uh, and there's three speeds. Uh, the range, as I talked about, uh, you know that. Um, look, I just think we need to get out now and give this a, a ride and see what we think about it, because I really think that this... This board has got uh, one of the most exciting launches uh, I've seen in the industry so far, uh, probably next to the Vareel. Uh, this is just, the Vareel's the king of the hubs. This could be the king of the belt coming out of uh, Shenzhen. So yeah, really impressive. Uh, let's let's go out, before we, before we do, let's go to the website. I wanna show you guys the website and uh, we'll talk about the remote as well. Right, so, yeah, so look, it's a really nice remote. I'm liking it, it's very light. It feels great in the hand. Uh, no dead man switch, uh, no lanyard. I think there's a spot for it. Um, I like the embossed writing on it. I like everything. It's just nice. Uh, yeah, it's got a good feel. Let's go to the website now. Let's look, take you through, if you want to purchase one of these things, how you do it. Let's have a look at that now. So there's the website, as you can see. Uh, Vesta, well, it's obviously Vesta board or Ves, v -Star board. They're calling it in some places, you know, Vesta, Vesta board space or Vestable is one word, um, but look, at the end of the day, um, this is a great, a great website, by the way. I just love its simplicity. Uh, the other two models, you've got the, um, obviously you've got the, you know, the V1, as you can see there, and you've got the V2, which I've got here. Um, the difference is being pretty much the deck, the deck flex and the deck width. Um, you can also option for different stuff. So let's look down, that's uh, one video there. That's the Instagram, Vestaboard at Gmail. Uh, there's the phone numbers for Frank. Call Frank, have a chat, email him, whatever. Um, now, I'll just go, we'll look at the V1 first. Let's go into it, have a look at it, okay. Um, as you can see, it's very similar. They haven't got the real estate uh, to allow for the bigger battery as we discussed, but you'll have a standard 6.0 uh, amp hour Samsung. Uh, you can option there um, to just the one only, unfortunately. Um, you've also got the option there for uh, different wheels, the 83, or you got the, um, oh, the 90. Actually, it looks to me like the 83s are the only ones on that particular model. Uh, I'll double check that, but that looks like it's an 83 only on that particular, which will match up with the booster boards, which makes sense, really. Um, and then we got all the information, uh, the, the, obviously the, 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 the stats and specs, um, yeah, 40 kilometers hour top speed, uh, 25 degree gradient hill climb, uh, maximum, you know, obviously 18 miles on that particular battery. It's a 20R, 36 volt, 6 amp hour. So it's a 10, 10S pack, it's the 18650s. It's, it's, it's gonna be a really nice board, that one. Okay, let's go back now to the other board with the one I've got today, which is the V2, the one I like. It's got the bigger wheels. You've got the option, obviously, for the six point, um, zero amp hour or you can go for the 36 volt uh, 9.6 amp hour which will give you a 44 kilometer range if you weigh about 75 kilos um, we'll click that you can option there the wheels as you can see for 90 or 83 so you can go bigger which booster don't offer you have to get your kegs and change them yourself um, yeah 18 miles so you're looking at 44 40 kilometer range um, 40 kilometer speed sorry 25 degree it's all the same stats pretty much okay so um, there we go that's ordering it obviously you just go ahead and say I want to order that add to cart uh, and there you can see it's um, 
I've got a few in there. Obviously, I've been playing around with this. Uh, it's a hundred dollars more. So what you're looking at here uh, is if you want to go, yeah, for the if you want to go for the bigger battery, it's roughly a hundred dollars more. Um, and then if you want to also option for the uh, the bigger wheels, uh, you're looking at probably another nineteen dollars. Is it there? As you can see, for the ninety millimeter wheels. So that's that's the price normally if you're my subscriber as i said you're going to get this for uh you know obviously 200 dollars off these prices so um yeah we'll come back now that's um pretty much um the website and how that works so yeah you're looking at an extra 20 odd dollars for the larger wheels which are these 90s which i recommend probably if you're doing rough terrain uh, you also got um, the extra hundred dollars for the bigger battery, which I would say is only uh, going to be not much bigger than this. So may even fit it into the same casing. I'd say the casing would be the same size for um, pretty much for all the um, this model. And then basically they would just play around with the batteries to fit that. I don't think you'll get a different casing. Um, motors don't change. The S doesn't change. Auto start. Um, but look, all in all, um, yeah, I mean, that is just an incredible buy. So uh, my point um, on this is that, you know, if you are looking uh, at getting a electric skateboard and you do want to have a bit more power, a bit more grunt, you want to do some of these the group rides, uh, belts are more forgiving, okay? There's no doubt about that. They do perform better on that rougher terrain. Um, so yeah, obviously you go for the 699 standard 83 wheels, less your $200 US discount from my subscriber, uh, or you can go for the uh, bigger wheels and the bigger battery, which is the 9.6 amp hour uh, Panasonic, which will get you a 44 kilometer range. That'll just eat any uh, group ride. Um, the grunt on this and the, the torque should be pretty good. Uh, I'm loving the frosted trucks. Like I said, look, I won't go anymore. Let's get on the road. Let's test it. Let's have a ride of the, the Vesta board and we'll see what we think. I'll know the minute I get on, like I said before, I'll know the minute I get on whether this is actually a nice board and it's a well-made board. And so far on looks, it's got a 9.9 out of 10. It's pretty impressive. Um, let's have a see how it performs and we'll go for a ride now. This is a very exciting point in electric skateboards innovation and uh, um, obviously involvement of the sport the whole industry so if we can get these belt drives coming out of china of the high quality it's going to change the whole field and change the goalposts uh, okay guys let's head out now have a look at it and we'll come back and have a talk about the performance of the vesta board v2 Here we have it. We're at the park with the V Star. Now, um, this is going to be a very interesting review. This has been one of the most exciting unboxing, even though the box was pretty average because the new boxes are coming out later. I'm one of the first, well, I'm one of I'm the first person pretty much in the world to get this to review on YouTube. Uh, it is the first premium belt drive system coming out of China that is actually not only under a thousand dollars US, but even under 700 US. I'll talk to you back in the office about the discount they're offering. A uh, big shout out to Frank. Thank you so much, Frank, for offering this insane discount for my subscribers. So uh, I make no money out of this. I'm not affiliated, I'm just a reviewer. But when I see a product like this that comes across my desk like this, but I wanna have a ride of it now properly and I'll give you my opinion. Uh, this is the V2. Uh, it's wider, it's about nearly 10 inches wide there. Uh, you've also got the V1, and this has got the 90 millimeter wheels. Uh, so this is more for the bigger, heavier rider, slight more camber on it, you can see. Um, and I'll show you the V1, which is the other model. Ah, there you go. This is the V1, as you can see. Uh, a little bit more, uh, more boosted. It's very boosted. Um, if you look at it here, it's actually got the smaller 83 wheels and it's got, uh, obviously it's got the darker, I think the V-Star will be all like, similar to that on the bottom. It's Canadian Maple, uh, nine ply. Uh, it's got lovely risers, double rise gels on there. And look at these motors. Now these guys are alloy. 
This is all metal belt covers. I've not seen that before and it's a frosted sort of uh, sandblasted sort of frosted finish like a wrought iron it's just beautiful uh, so we're going to test both the boards out today that's the uh, V1 and the V2 we'll test them both out and we'll see what I recommend for the top of rider you would be so far this is an extraordinary purchase in my two and a half years on YouTube I've not seen something come across as I said my table and my desk of this quality this premium is sophisticated it is a uh, exceptional electric skateboard. Belt drives are the go, guys. This is the future because uh, people are gonna go all terrain and these will accommodate all terrain later on. 900 watts, it's probably a little bit small for all terrain, but it will do it. So board bumpers will probably provide the gearing. We can talk about that later in more reviews, but let's get out and let's test these boards. Okay, this is my first ride on this thing properly and uh, I'm actually gonna go this way, so uh, I know straight away. Whoa, <laughs> figure now. This has got some bite. Oh my God, it sounds, if you guys could hear that, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, whoa, I'm trying to get this gimbal in in position. It's okay, it's, it's ultra refined, ultra smooth. And I'll just get, I'll go in high. Get some stick along here now. Before you have a go at me without a helmet, this is a crash helmet baseball cap, so it is actually safe. Oh no, that's that's fast and a boosted. That's fast, that's not even half throttle. Okay, first impressions. This is a premium product. This is absolutely high quality. This is a $2,000 feel on a 699 US board. Um, I don't know how they're doing it for the money. Uh, it's, it's impressive, Look, go again. You hear that? You can hardly even hear the whine. They're like a boosted when you got low gearing. Um, but this is, oh my God. This is one of the best electric skateboards I've ridden in two years, without a doubt. Absolutely. This is, there's a crick, someone cricket over there. They can the grass, they can the grass back there. You can see the corrugation group. It, it whistles for a second and then it kind of just goes dead silent. Whoa, brakes, oh brakes are so powerful. Okay, yeah, you gotta be really gentle with the brakes. Uh, otherwise, it is good brakes. Like this will pull you up on a probably a 30 degree hill, this thing. Okay, first impressions, this is a premium product. This is like refined, sophisticated ride. This is a $2,000 feel. Now I've got a Volve, just bought an Evolve uh, GT1, and this is a better feel, more refined, more engineered. Uh, so Frank, I don't know what you've done, but you've done an insane job. So. Yeah, let's ride the, F, the V1 now, which is the boosted smaller board with the 83 wheels, and we'll see how that goes, and I'll tell you what I think of that. So we're gonna now take the uh, V1. The V1, as you can see, looks just like a boosted board. Uh, if you like a smaller wheel, and you like that sort of not as big camber, and uh, this is the board for you. Let's test this out. So, uh, again, this is my first ride on the, um, the, v, the V1 uh, V-Star board. Um, I'll know, essentially it's the same motor, so I think it'll be the same feel, but the deck will make me really compare the two different decks and what they feel like. So, high mode, yep, let's go. Okay, oh yeah, a lot more flex, a lot more flex in this deck. Oh yeah, this is like a sports car. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, there is a difference. I mean, decks, they say decks don't make a difference, but they do, they make a hell of a difference. Okay, this is a lot more bouncy. I was gonna... Wow, okay. Same power, same speed, same exact motors. Um, what we're looking at here is a much more softer ride, sports ride, lower. Uh, okay, this feels a lot lower to the ground. Let's get some speed up here. Oh, holy jeez, holy shit. That's half the throttle. It's probably about 38 kilometers an hour. Oh, the braking is just so powerful. Okay, what this is, on the V1, it's bouncier, it's lower. If you like a downhill drop down deck, this is the one for you. It's a little bit more bumpier because the wheels are smaller, not much, um, but, oh, you've got to lean forward like a booster. You've really got to lean forward. This has got 900 watts times two, and the KV on these motors have got to be one of the biteiest. I'd say 190, possibly even more, I don't know. Uh, this is unbelievable. It's got the grass here. Let's see if it clears the grass. Yes, it does. Okay, so this 
making that noise, that whistle. It's like a zillboard a bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the braking, actually the braking seems a bit smoother on the V1 actually. It's um, a little bit more smoother. Oh my gosh. Where do I begin? Okay, um, let me point out again, this is an independent review, not a paid review. Uh, when I find something that works and something that is just sensational, I've found a lot of electroscopers in the last two years so I recommend, I'm gonna talk it up. And this so far, except for the word durability and longevity, I can't talk about it yet because I only had it for a, a couple of days. So far, it's, it's gonna be 9.9 .9 out of 10, I can guarantee. Uh, okay, we'll go do some footage now and I'll see me riding around on it and we'll come back uh, in a little while. Okay, we're going to do a speed test now on the um, the V2. Uh, this will be a, a good indication what it can do. So let's go. One. Oh God, that's got some speed. pretty quick my god that was quick okay guys we're gonna do a quick uh, sneak hill climb test on the um, V2 that's the hill I'm gonna be doing it's actually about 23 24 percent grade doesn't look like it but you'll see when I get it filmed how steep that is uh, let's go and test out the speed up there with the belts and the KV uh, torque of these motors quick we're back in the office I've got my gourmet coffees I'm a pretty good brister I do make a really good coffee uh, let's hash over what happened today I don't always come back to the office and talk about the boards I review this one is different I can talk about it first of all you saw the two models there's a v1 and a v2 the v2 is this one with the wider fatter big camber you can see it's a massive camber beautiful carry handle perfectly balanced 
It's a very impressive board. I do pick diamonds in the rough. People say to me, why is your your e-boards always uh, rated high, nines and whatever? Um, well, that's because I do my homework first. I re research these things before I get them. I pick the boards I want to review. But at the end of the day, I want to review boards that I can recommend. That's the, cr the crucial part of my ethos and my methodology on my channel and my vision for what this channel would be. So uh, now in terms of the ride, it has a beautiful linear curve. It has a bite. It has that whirring noise like a, like a booster board. It really is a beautiful feel. You saw the test hill climb. That's four times longer than my hill here. And that nail that went right past the Timo, fully charged Timo. Again, the Timo is a grunty, powerful uh, hub motor. If you're looking at getting a hub motor, guys, the Timo, but especially the Vareel F1, uh, V1S are the best hubs coming out of China. I still stand behind them and I review them and I know what I'm doing. When it comes to belt drives, right? They're quite new to the industry coming out of China. This is the leader at the moment. This is the one to get. And this is a premium product. This is like, it's an iPhone feeling of a, it's a high quality product. It certainly has that incredible sophisticated feel. It has that really nice smooth ride. The belt, the whole wind. When you go to the first from say zero to 30 kilometers an hour, it's got a nice bite quite quick. It's got a lot of grunt. When you get to 30, most of these boards kind of just slowly creep up to 40 kilometers an hour. This thing has another bite at that 30 kilometer to say 39. You saw my Vito speed test, 39 kilometers an hour into a head when I can't show my spectacular kind of view here of the golf course, but it's howling with wind. We've had an on a wind that's been out of control the last two weeks. Uh, I was getting into that headwind and I still got 39 kilometers per hour, which is, yes. is unbelievable. Most boards won't do that and this is got power. 900 watts, the KV must be low on these motors because I've never seen a grunt in a second kick at the 30 kilometer speed to the 39 of that speed. You could virtually, you can bite again. Um, right, it's a, it's a beautiful turning carving truck. The trucks are all like frosted uh, cast iron, um, sort of like sandblasted. It's just a refine. You look at this and obviously they've pulled apart a, <laughs> a booster board and they may have just copied it pretty much exact. I, I, I'm impressed. This is actually better than a booster board because it has a bigger range. This battery, the six amp hour will do 28 kilometer range on a 70 kilogram rider. I'll get about 24 kilometer range. That's going to nail anything. The big battery, the 9.6, um, obviously Panasonic will do you 40 kilometer range. I don't know if you want to go that far, but if you do get the bigger battery. Now, price. I don't know how they're doing this price for 699. It's not a paid commercial. This is not a, I'm not affiliated. I'm just a reviewer, but I can't work out. The componentry here is around 500 US dollars at least. You can't be making much on it. Um, Vesta board are probably just making a small amount. What they've wanted to do now, and uh, Frank, a big shout out. Frank is actually the guy behind Timo board. He's a brilliant whiz kid. He's amazing when it comes to knowing skater stuff. He is just, uh, the Timo board is a testimony to what he can do. He's moved across the belts and this is like the Bill Gates of the belt Chinese market. So thank you, Frank, for producing such a credibly well-made product. And uh, so far, without durability, robustness, and time, I can't tell the longevity of it, but on the first impressions of this and hammering it today, it is just solid as. So the price he's offering is 699. I don't know how they're doing it at that price. Frankly, it's a ridiculous price because, you know, I think they go a lot more. But anyway, they're doing that to get the market share. That's why I get into these things early when companies do it. Don't have Kickstarters or sort of you know um, you know Indiegogo campaigns, but they just off them cheaper to get people in. However, what they're doing now, they've told me. Frank said, if you want to offer your subscribers a discount, he's offering, and here it is coming in a two hundred dollar discount on this board. That's U.S. dollars. So from six ninety nine, it comes down to four ninety nine U.S. dollars, which is just ludicrous including 46 countries free shipping. So if you're unfortunate in a country that doesn't have free shipping, you'll be paying shipping. But generally that's gonna be covered by the shipping. So it will be in first in best dress. I think, I don't know how much stock he's got. Uh, I think he wants mini ambassadors sprinkled all around, peppered around the world. So if you want to get an electric skateboard, you're looking at holding out, you want power, you want bite, you want robustness, you want a booster board, it can't afford a stealth. This is a stealth crusher. 
this is the board that's going to just nail boosted their battery systems a few issues with their clearance on the back i have issues with boosted but it's a nice company it's a nice board this is another level at a cheaper price by probably a third i don't know how they're doing it i um it's just insane so uh what i'll do is i'll put the link below to the website um you know the two boards you've seen me test it you've done the hill climb sneak test and the speed test um the price is 4.99 including um shipping what more is there to say? Um, there's just nothing to really say, but you know, uh, just go for it. If you want an electric skateboard, a backup, you want to you want to go from a hub to a belt. This is the one. I'm going to flip it over now and give you a listen to it. Um, the sound of the motors. I'll leave it on that. I think at the end of the day, uh, this is a highly recommended product. Uh, it's it's something that it would, window opportunity is quite small. The sales on only till the 24th of December, and then it's back to 6.99. You have to be a subscriber on our channel and mention me. The code is um, Andrew Dash V Capital E Capital Board um, and then a space and 18. It's not really anything for me. I don't get anything out of this, but I, it's my code for you guys to let them know that it's coming from my subscribers, if you know what I mean. Um, and look, on that note, on YouTube, I've monetized now for six months. And I've made a grand total of $53 US. I am woohoo! Yes. So excited. Um, I don't get a check to $100, so I think this time next year I might get my check and I'll actually video that when I get it. Guys, great to chat to you again. I miss all you guys and I'm trying to get to all the comments. It's getting bigger now, so every five days I get back to you Instagram, Facebook pages. Um, check out my stuff below uh, Instagram, Facebook mainly here this is where the central hub is for my channel the zill board's coming it is taking a bit of time but they're perfecting a few things my traveling electric skateboard uh is coming that's pretty exciting folding up into a backpack that can travel lithium oxide graphene batteries but right now vestar board frank done a fantastic job mate i can't thank you enough for sending me this but also for producing a cutting edge new direction for chinese electric skateboards and this is going to be a absolute blast this is going to be one of the boards to get for 2019 uh and if you can get it early now on the sale go for it uh, well turn on it's got automatic start roll which i really love with these boards you have to bend down and try and find a switch at night here you go is unbelievable guys that's a wrap i'll see you guys in the next uh video thanks you so much for watching happy skating safe skating see you in the next one